So, um, tough subject, but an important one this morning. The holidays are filled with familiar memories and traditions, and um, that's what normally makes it feel so special every single year, except if you are experiencing loss or grief. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We both yeah. are experiencing grief this time of year, um, so this next interview is going to be tough. I'm just going to be really honest with you. It is a painful subject um, because so many of you are joyful during the holiday season. And so and, many people aren't. Right, you know? and, and that's just the truth of the matter is some people are dealing with loss, and the Christmas holiday season brings up things that are just hard. It's why we wanted to do this segment together. It's why we're really happy that we have um, our favorite therapist, Joshua, Joshua Magianis, is here. I mean, yeah. could you just start with, this is not uncommon, yeah. what we're feeling here, right? I mean, dreading potentially the holiday season. And I am so sorry. I just, I, I no. told you before this segment, I was, I was scared to death to do this segment. Mm -hmm. So I, I apologize. No, <laughs> no don't apologize. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, I, it, it is a difficult time, and I think many times with social media and, and how we greet people and see people, the first thing that comes out of our, ma our mouths is, happy holiday. Um, and for many, it's not right. such a happy holiday. Um, it, they're in reflection mode or grieving, whether it's one year or a few weeks. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think a lot of us have gone through that from time to time. And so acknowledging it and being real yeah. about it is very important. <clears throat> so what do you, um, what do you do? I mean, I love the holidays. I love yeah. the holiday season. I love yeah. the traditions. I love the feeling of the holidays. Um, but then when you are experiencing grief, mm -hmm. um, my dad died around Christmas last year. And um, I'm now experiencing the holidays without my family. My parents are gone. Mm -hmm. So how, how do you get that back? How do you get that happiness of the holidays back? Because it's, it's frightening me that that's gone, you know? You know, what I think is very real to acknowledge is that um, it, we sometimes don't get those holidays back that we used to have. And I think acknowledging and knowing that it, they're not gonna be the same, yeah. but that they will be different and how you want them to be different is really key. Yeah and how you want to celebrate your parents and enjoy what traditions you did have with them yeah. is what is also very important. And to let yourself be, yeah. whether it's not um, celebrating Christmas and going away, or if it's celebrating it in the only way you know how right now. Maybe it, it is just doing one dinner and that's okay, or lighting a candle to remember what that person meant to you. Um, one of the things I've done, my father also died around Christmas time. I'm so sorry. And uh, one of the things we did as brothers, the four of us did, is we, we hiked to um, his favorite hunting place. Mm -hmm. And we sat and shared and cried. Yeah. And, and, and talked about the good times. My dad played Santa Claus for us one year growing up. And so we talked about that and laughed about it and remembered him. And I think that's very key and important. It, it, they're gone in the physical sense, yeah. but their soul and who they were when they were here, it, it will always be around us. We only have a couple more seconds, sure. but briefly I wanted to ask about, like, I feel a lot of pressure to try and make the holidays happy, yeah. even though I don't feel this way. Mm -hmm. I mean, how do I take that pressure off myself? Sure. W one of the things I think all of us need to do is to remember to not put ourselves in those stressful situations. If you're not feeling like participating, pull yourself out. Make sure you surround yourself around people who get it, yeah. who understand what you're going through. Um, that's one of the, the main things we can all do to kind of keep us safe. Um, and again, if you, uh, you know, want to celebrate in the most minimal way, that's okay too. And remember that the grief is going to occur currently, yeah. it'll ease eventually, but building new traditions will also help make the holidays new and for you. I think this is fabulous advice. I just think you're amazing. Thank you so much for always coming on and being our expert. I know that you know you were on with Travis a few weeks ago and sure. we were like, we've got to have you back on. Thank you so much. You're, yeah. This is really great information because we all want to have a happy holiday, but you know, the reality is not all of us feel that right now. Right. Thank Joshua you so Magianis, much. therapist, thank you for giving us some therapy. Hopefully helped you at home as well. And thank you so much for doing that segment with me. I was terrified because it's something I've been feeling. But love you. yeah, I love you. You're amazing. Yeah. So I appreciate it. Yeah. And I know that you get it. And a lot of you guys at home get I it do. too. Yeah.